We are learning new details about the uh, suspect in last night's deadly mass shooting in Orange. Police have just released a picture of him at the scene. Four people were killed, including a nine-year-old boy. We have live team coverage with Jessica Denova and Leticia Juarez. We begin with Leticia live at the shooting scene. Leticia? Yeah, we did learn a couple of new bits of information regarding the shooting. One thing we did notice is that there were five calls or reported five calls made to 911 to report that a male was shooting into a business across the street. And as you mentioned, authorities releasing a still image of the suspect inside during the rampage. This still photo from inside Unified Homes shows the suspect entering the business during Wednesday's mass shooting. Investigators spent the day processing the scene where four people, including a nine-year-old boy, was gunned down. Officers located two victims in the courtyard area, one of which was a nine-year-old boy who was deceased. An adult female who had also been shot was found with the boy. Witnesses recorded the police running into the business just after 530 as the gun rampage continued inside, but they were unable to gain entry. It appears the suspect used a bicycle type cable lock to secure the gates from the inside on both the north and the south sides of the courtyard. Two officers exchanged gunfire with a suspect identified as 44 year old Aminadab Gonzalez. Bolt cutters were used to get inside and pull the injured suspect out. Officers located a suspect who was injured and he was taken into custody. Inside the courtyard, the boy was found cradled by a woman believed to be his mother. It appears that a little boy died in his mother's arms as she was trying to save him during this horrific massacre. She survived and was taken to the hospital. Three other victims, including two women and a man, were found deceased. Investigators say the shooting happened at two business suites belonging to Unified Homes, a mobile real estate business. It appears all of the adults were connected either by business or a personal relationship, and this was not a random act of violence. At the scene, police recovered a semi-automatic handgun, along with a backpack containing pepper spray, handcuffs, and more ammunition. Gonzalez was taken to the hospital where he is in custody, but the DA already preparing for the suspect's day in court. I'm here to make something very, very clear. Mr. Gonzalez is eligible for the death penalty. This is a special circumstances case. There were multiple victims. Now we're also learning that Gonzalez arrived here in a rental car and that he'd been staying at a local motel for some time. Now investigators say they expect to remain on the scene for quite some time as they continue to le look into what actually led up to the shooting. Of course, as they mentioned, this is not random. Gonzalez remains hospitalized in critical condition, but they say he is stable. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.